October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I want to take this opportunity to highlight a couple of the big advances that have been made in this disease. Breast cancer is increasingly a more curable disease than it has ever been before. The survival rates from breast cancer are incredibly high, and that's a testament to early detection and the widespread use of mammography, and also a testament to the improvement in drugs to treat this disease. The novel therapies that have been developed are incredibly effective, and we've gotten very, very good at using them and managing the side effects of them. To begin, I think it's important to recognize that uh, women have a risk of developing breast cancer in their lifetime of approximately 1 in 8 to 1 in 10. Some women have a higher risk depending on their family history or their ancestry. We know that uh, women of Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry have a higher tendency to have genetic abnormalities predisposing to breast cancer. So it's important that all women take advantage of mammography when age appropriate. We recommend starting mammography at 40. Uh, for some women, we recommend starting earlier, depending on their family history. Uh, if a woman has a strong family history, genetics uh, is often recommended. Genetic testing can help us determine if that woman is at risk and can then uh, guide us in terms of how she should be managed. For example, if a woman carries a BRCA mutation, that woman is recommended mammography starting uh, at 30 with MRI starting at 25. So you can see that the recommendations vary significantly depending on your family history. So if I had one important message to say to you is know your family history, uh, delve into the family history to see who's been diagnosed with what diseases and at what ages. Um, we know that breast and ovarian cancer often run together. Prostate cancer can be a part of these uh, families. Uh, so really get to know your family history. Discuss it with your primary care provider. For some individuals, genetic testing is very, very useful. Not for everyone. Uh, we have an incredible uh, genetic testing program with five uh, trained, licensed genetic counselors working with our physicians to provide that level of expertise and guidance uh, to the woman who needs those services. Now, uh, once a mammogram is done or a woman feels an abnormality, um, the next step is really uh, often led by the uh, radiologists who do biopsies to get a diagnosis. The majority of biopsies are not cancerous. They may tell us about a woman's risk, but they're often not cancerous. And our team is able to help that woman manage the road when she has a benign uh, biopsy that may still need attention. When a cancer is found, however, the next step often is to move on to the multidisciplinary team, which involves a breast surgeon, a medical oncologist, a radiation oncologist, and sometimes a plastic uh, reconstructive surgeon. That team is led by our nurse navigators. Uh, they're incredible resources that help the patient and guide them through every step of their journey. That team sits down with the woman and determines what the next step should be. For some women, it's surgery, and there is tremendous possibility to preserve the breast. Uh, in 80% of cases, the breast can be preserved with a lumpectomy and radiation. Some women need a mastectomy. Some women want a mastectomy. So the goal of our team is to be able to discuss all of those nuances and to come up with a plan for the individual woman that is appropriate to her disease, uh, her interests, and uh, uh, the overall picture. Once the surgical management is completed, uh, there is then the next step that involves medications. Uh, some people have heard about hormonal therapies or endocrine therapies. Uh, we have a whole array of drugs that we can use in that venue. We also uh, sometimes have to have the discussion about chemotherapy. And nowadays, uh, we sometimes have that discussion prior to surgery. So preoperative chemotherapy sometimes is utilized and there have been tremendous advances with the drugs that we use and their effectiveness. So the key, the, the key message here is that breast cancer is a highly curable disease and it takes a team uh, to manage it appropriately and we are here for you uh, if you need us. So in closing, uh, I really just want to highlight that we as a team are totally focused on the needs of our patients. 
our care philosophy at MD Anderson Cancer Center at Cooper is to provide each patient with a multidisciplinary uh, team that can guide them through their journey to work with them and their family uh, as they go through this cancer diagnosis because cancer does not just affect the patient. Cancer affects the patient, their family, their community, uh, and it is important that each of those facets are recognized and uh, addressed. So thank you.